going on everybody hair here and yes here we are talking about the Raiders and specifically Gardner Minshew and um, I said that specifically because we already had our draft we had me and everybody else thought oh, we're taking a quarterback in the first round okay if not that the second round and if not that at least the fourth fifth or sixth round we took nobody we took uh, uh, one of the some undrafted kid um, used to he's the son of, an, of a defensive coordinator I believe um, Carter or something but we don't expect him to go past the practice squad um, so Minshew is most likely the guy and all the fans that I argue with all the time that say oh AOC give him a chance look it tell me a quarterback right now that succeeds that's a statue I mean I can't think of anybody. I guess Kirk Cousins to an extent, but even he's a little bit of wheels sometimes. Um, but everybody else in the top, they're dual threat. They're athletic. They can move with their legs. They they can scramble, roll to the right, roll to the left, make something out of nothing. You're talking about your Patrick Mahomes of the world, the Josh Allens, the Lamar Jacksons, Jalen Hurts, the, even the Jordan Loves, uh, the C.J. Strouds. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, uh, also Joe Burrow, also not a statue. Um, there's just so many. The top echelon of quarterbacks, even the top 15 quarterbacks, they're dual threat. It's not the old NFL anymore. You can't be a statue. That's my round for for Aiden. I don't hate Aiden. It's just I've I've seen what I've seen. Unless he develops this new athleticism that I didn't know was possible, it's not going to happen. Those it, it just when you're a statue quarterback you take away a big thing that everybody else prepares for. You, all you got to do is rush. So um, that's why I like Minshew. They paid Minshew, and um, he's not a statue. He scored a bunch of times running the ball. Last season, he took the Colts to the playoffs, uh, beat us out, and this is going to be the most talent he's ever had. He's going to have Devontae Adams. He's going to have uh, uh, Jacoby Myers. He's going to have Brock Bowers, that new stud tight end that they got. They got Michael Mayer. Um, Trey Tucker, who's a burner, uh, and then they signed Michael Gallup from the from Dallas too. They just have a lot of weapons on the offensive side, and uh, I think Minshew's going to do great. They're trying to beef up the, the O line, um, and like I said, Minshew's dual threat. He can run, he can scramble, make something out of nothing. He's a tough, hard nosed dude that can rush the ball up the middle and try to score. Uh, so. I, and anyway, I didn't even talk about the running backs. You have um, uh, Zeus, that's going to be our starter most likely. He changed to number three, I believe, like college. And uh, you just have a lot of speed, a lot of athleticism, a lot of weaponry in, uh, for, the, for the Raiders, for the offense now. And, I, and again, I, I wanted a quarterback to develop to, you know, but Minshew is an old, he's 27, I believe. Um, and I guess you can try to develop develop Aiden but I just I, again he's not going to become a burner all of a sudden he's going to always be a statue type guy so I still like to get another young guy to try to see throw in there see what can happen try to develop but Minshew's not old by any means and he's, he's a gamer he can play he has that Raider attitude the mustache the hair gives me stabler vibes um, and hopefully he makes a good connection with uh, with Devonte with the rest of the guys because he can do something, I think, with this squad, with the defense, signing Christian Wilkins. You have Crosby, Jack Jones. You have so many guys that made noise last year on defense, and then um, we're the last team that beat the Chiefs before they went on their Super Bowl run last year, too. So there's something with that Raider team. And that, that's with Aiden, I think, only scoring in the second quarter. So we just needed some kind of competent quarterback to take this next leap. And I think... I, I'm I'm becoming a Minshew uh, a Minshew fanatic. I'm starting I'm starting to believe it. Uh, Minshew mania. Let's do it with the Raiders. The the the, the black jersey, the care, the mustache, the the craziness. The he wears the short shorts. Let's get behind it because again, we didn't get a quarterback. We didn't get a Michael Penix or a Jaden Daniels or any of those guys that we were looking to get. Um, we're, we have Minshew, and I think he's a big upgrade over Aiden. Um, I could be wrong. Everybody, a lot of people I've talked to, they want Aiden to start. I have no idea why. Um, again, it's only his first year. I know I might be like, you know, I might sound like I'm judging hard on Aiden, but I I'd, I'd say Minshew takes us to that next leap um just based off his athleticism um he has 
pretty damn good throws too. And his ability to roll out and you know make some decisions, it just get it makes your defense think a little bit. Oh, can he run? He might be able to run. You don't think that with Aiden. And he brings that swag with him too. You sometimes you just need that that um, that toughness, that grittiness, that that swag that you can't be taught. And Minshew has that. He lives in a van for Christ's sake in the, in the off season. Um, that guy's he's something else and he was great on the Crosby podcast too so um, we'll see we'll see I'm looking forward to this season I'm looking forward to Minshew hopefully taking us somewhere hope I hope it's not a shit show like it was with Jimmy but we'll see I'm, I'm I'm happy I'm excited and I can't wait for this to happen especially with all this weaponry that Minshew has let's get it Minshew mania Gardner Minshew this is the hair 